Hello YouTubers, Aviator76 coming to you here live from Canada. Hey, uh, I'm going to apologize in advance in case my air conditioner comes on. Yes, we do have air conditioners. It does get hot. No, I don't live in an igloo. At least not yet. Mine melted. I have to build a new one. Anyway, reason for this video is uh, I just picked up a new pistol. Uh, Grisson Yavuz 92, Yavuz uh, Regard 16. Uh, it's a Beretta 92F clone made in Turkey. Fantastic pistol. Best bang for the buck. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. Um, I'm not doing a review on the pistol. Obviously, they've been done ad nauseum both on the Beretta 92 and on the Grisson. But what I did want to talk about is a uh, failure to lock issue that I was having the second time I had it out of the range. So first thing we're going to do is make sure the pistol is safe. So I'm going to drop the mag. Mag's clear. Chamber's clear. Okay, um, the uh, issue was was that obviously on the last round the slide wasn't locking back and it's all because of this beautiful little slide lock mechanism right here. This was working properly and for those of you who don't know how slide locks work, um, pretty simple on the mags there's a little tang, a little notch on the, every magazine so that on the final round it actually pushes up on the tang on the, um, the slide lock and that's what forces it to lock the slide back because the slide will come back it's popping up it can't go forward mine wasn't doing that and there's lots of reviews I've been reading online of people having a similar issue they've been changing recoil springs, sear springs, hammer springs, whatever uh, if they're having the same issue I did you guys are chasing your tails on this because that is not what the issue is I'll show you what the issue is let me drop the slide So, ah, there's my air conditioner. See, got to keep my igloo cold. There's the little tang right there um, that actuates, uh, that the magazine uh, contacts. Uh, there's what it does. See, it's catching, it's locked up nice and tight. Um, on the Gerson grips, originally I had whole grips, which made the problem worse because the rubber, there was no, flex, uh, no stiffness, they were just purely flexible right here. This is the problem right here. Normally, when the slide locks, it's usually right around here. There's still a portion of the slide lock which is behind the grip. The grips actually have uh, too great of a void in behind them right at this point. So it allows the slide lock to be pushed out enough so that it slips off the notch on the uh, magazine follower and then it doesn't lock the slide. So in order to fix that, what you need to do is take your grip off and um, I use a piece of gift card from a Starbucks uh, card. You can use whatever, like credit card thickness. You will still have to do some gluing, but it's just about a centimeter by half a centimeter piece of crazy glue on the back of the grip right here at this part in the void. And um, make sure that it moves freely once you've got it back on. Once you do that and you put it all back together, you will have no problems with your gun locking up after every round. I have not had an issue with it since. Um, it works fantastic. So, it is a great weapon. Uh, quality is fantastic. And um, half the price of a Beretta. I, I had a Beretta, Beretta 92 FS. No qualms about it. Great pistol. Um, but again, for the money, if you can get your hands on one of these, you won't be disappointed. But please, 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 always practice safe firearm handling and storage. Uh, these aren't toys and unfortunately I've been reading lots, especially in the last couple of months, and it seemed like almost every day there was a story of some child getting a hold of a gun and uh, accidentally shooting himself or shooting a friend and killing them. Uh, it's just not worth it. So um, please be responsible firearms owners and uh, you know, enjoy the hobby, enjoy the sport and uh, hope this helps you guys out. Maybe you guys have a Beretta that's doing the same thing. Look at that issue right there close up that uh, void a little bit, tighten it up, you shouldn't have a problem afterward. Alright, hope this helps you guys, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day, God bless you guys.